Hi, welcome. This tutorial is about keys, keyboard shortcuts. Where are they? Well, there is a little program that's supplied with Arch Labs and it gives us here display key binds in your window. So these are all my personal and Arch Labs' uh, keyboard, keyboard shortcuts or key bindings. Both words are OK. And as you can see, so Super F1 is Firefox, Super F2 is Sublime 3. So the W is Windows key or Super key. A is Alt, Alt P, Alt and so on. Control A, C, A. The keyboard shortcuts for my music. More music, less music, play previous. Unmaximize things and so on. So, okay, we get a lot of these shortcuts uh, but i do want to change one okay fine no problem right mouse click we have here the keyboard shortcuts this thing here so we were just here displaying it display menus in menu that's all explained as you can see here we can use the min stick ws wt turn right so w is super super t super l slim lock windows l you know the other system genie and e etc but if we want to change it we have to go somewhere else we have to go to this little program which well this this is just the label of the menu i've just made a tutorial about the menus this is a label of the menu we call it also tied there the name which is ob key so we're starting open box key okay and then <coughs> and then it's up to us to say okay um, we're gonna change this we don't want this or that or anything else so this is my open box restart the shift control backspace I explained in the other tutorial so if I want to quickly restart it I don't have to go to a menu I told the system if I press new accelerator if I press I don't know control shift uh, page up well that's now it's a different shortcut shift control page up is now my restarting of my open box so just clicking it shift control backspace and it's gone it's back again here is a very important button if you don't save it nothing will be changed now some of the keyboard cuts keyboard shortcuts will work straight off out of the box but some of them you will have to save the thing first of course save always but restart it so you have to restart the system configure open box restart and then the keyboard shortcuts have been applied so that's that uh, so there are a lot of things Control alt m we test them out Control alt m up here are the xfce settings the manager of all the settings that are being used here possible things you can change not all of them are applicable we are an open box after all, but some of the things have been installed because of the choices we've made, Tunar, energy management, things like that. And that's why it's in here. But we can, uh, if it's in here, we can use it as well, like preferred applications. If we want to tell the system to do something else, not Sakura, but some other terminal and so on. But this is uh, in the context of XFCE. Um, what else? So a lot of things we can do, like for instance, the variety is interesting to tell you about, tell something about it. That's when I get a wallpaper from variety, when I press Alt T, that means I don't like it because Alt T means trashing. Variety minus T is trash this wallpaper. F is, I really like it because F stands for favorite. It's going to be copy pasted to my Dropbox and going to be synced and I won't lose it the P is the previous L is left and is next right is next down is stop and wait I want to have this for a few hours um, no this is resume and this is waiting for a few hours so pausing on one wallpaper and if I've seen it enough I'm gonna resume and it's going to change the wallpaper again for every five minutes every 10 minutes the way you set it in the settings super pause 
is for me logging out when I press Windows and then pause break button. We get this kind of icons, which is the Sardi OB logout. We've installed it in the personalization scripts and tutorial. So we have now special kind of icons to quit our system. And here we have something important. OB key, OB key, this is OB key. So I have a control alt key K and when I press this combination I restart or I start my configuration of my custom keyboard keys. So anything goes, anything you want to have, you can put it in here. Um, here we have a plus, insert sibling key binding and we can enter anything. We get this blue line. We have to decide what shortcut we'll have. Good question, what can I do? Um, let's try something like, I don't think I have Alt-R yet. And if we have, we'll see that when there are, that when there is a program that has two shortcuts, he'll, he'll do them both. Yeah. So it's when, sometimes it happens that he does not take the correct um, key here, the key text, so you can really write, you see me writing here, you can do it like, like that. Control C, W, Windows, A, Alt, and you write it yourself. And then it's this thing you have to fill in. We can add a plus. And there's a lot of things to explain. I can talk quite extensively about this menu. But the main thing we are probably want to do, that is execute something. So let's execute a program. I don't want to do anymore. I take Terminix. We've done that in the previous tutorial. So Alt R is going to run Terminix. You don't need this one or you don't need this one. When do you need it? A prompt is, for instance, when you want when you want to log out, and then you can some, say something. Are you sure you want to log out? Something like that. But don't want that, just run it, run the program please. And don't need this either. Start up notify, no, not necessary to, uh, to warn us for instance from this is going to change your configuration files, are you sure, something like that. We know what we're doing. And that's it. Let's save it. So when pressing Alt R, let's have a look and see if it goes, it works. This works out of the box. Alt R is just working just fine. But you see something happened. There is something else active in this Alt R. And anyway, it's, it's working just fine. And here we are again. But you see it's, cons it's uh, consequential, we would say it. It's, it's the same every time. So we are resizing our um, paper or our, our window as well. So that was not a good idea, not a good shortcut. It's not alone in here. There is an other Alt R down there somewhere. Here it is, Alt R, resize. Bad idea, but voila, there it is. So minus, don't wanna have it anymore around. And we're gonna save it. And Alt R is just going to do this, resize. So that's it, um, I guess, but um, this is the graphical way of doing things. You should know that there is also the RCXML kind of program. So RCXML, we open it with Genie. Genie has this nice look because of a new theme I've selected. You can do, you can have the same look if you install the personal scripts in the personal file there, number 600 and such. And you will see that in this rc.xml, there are, if you just kind of read it diagonally, then you see that there are all kind of elements here about font and desktops. And when does it start to be interesting? Here, keyboard. Because this was all doc. And here the doc begins. And here this is all margins and this is margins. This is resize and so on. But here the, the fun starts, the key bindings, the keyboard shortcuts. And you can read what happens. 
and again if you're working on these things you can just copy paste it so it starts with a key bind the key is windows f5 action name is execute what are you going to execute the command melt and an end action and end key bind so this slash is ending ending the beginning tag the closing tag and begin tag and all that think about html so it's, it starts and begins but it's xml of course but anyway copy pasting can be done here as well changing the names can be here done as well and it's been formatted a little bit so i've been editing it inside here that stuff is more or less uh, together so all the w f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 is all together um it will be not 100 percent perfect perfect but it's uh, it's there it's okay this is something that might be interesting to you as well we have an, another menu right mouse click is our menu but windows d is another menu which is going up here and i'm looking for firefox and then i made another menu just for the guys from arch labs you see the yellow and the yellow and windows shift d is going to be a yellow d menu which is more in style with this system but again it's just the same we know a name of a program or we want to check out what terminals there are so the terminator termin x termite and l external u external external those are all the things that i have installed to use the terminal so everything is in here everything can be checked out you know that it can be changed copy pasted deleted here are the print keys alt print take a, a screenshot or control print use the program gnome screenshot or just print use the program xfce4 screen shooter so different kind of possibilities l tap windows tap stuff like that windows m execute audacious or genie or slimlock the volume control also interesting pavu control if we have uh, music playing and we have uh, we need to tell the system look my dear friend uh, you're playing it on the wrong device you can change stuff around here so it's in here a lot of things start here that's not always in the menu it's uh, also in the keyboard shortcuts where you can find some information so do try to well read it and just try them out i would do the following thing i would say display the keybinds in a new window i put it up here and then i say okay let's for instance take the windows and then this is the keypad one windows keypad one is this windows keypad two is this keypad three four five six seven eight nine five two one eight five four five five six five and so on so this is moving around with your and making a tile and, and stuff maximize and all that so this is moving around with your windows so that's this so do go down the list and figure out what you like and don't like delete whatever you don't like uh, do remember to start from a beginning tag and a closing tag so you have the whole block and that's the most important thing i guess and then see what you uh, keep and see what you change and what you delete all right have fun changing your keys